Let's open it up. All righty. Welcome back, everybody. This is Daniel Bush. This is POV 8's POV uh, Pool's 8th anniversary tournament at California Billiards in Fremont, Northern California. And uh, right now, we're about to start this match. It's uh, the finals. The finals of the 9 ball, 500 added 9 ball. First place will get $700, and second place will get $400. Sargon Isaac versus Jason Williams. I'm going to leave you guys with Divish Babu and, uh, and Nelson Silva, the grasshopper. So uh, enjoy this match, guys. We've got Sargon Isaac. Straight race to six, folks. So enjoy this, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, folks, <clears throat> this is Nelson Silva, the grasshopper from Fremont. And Divage here Divage. from Fremont. Yes, how you doing, Divage? Good. Got tired, good, but good. Got a good match here. Yep. Tired. You know what? You can't feel tired when you have great pool. That's true. All right? I'm excited about this match. This is a great match. Um, Sargon is, uh, I believe, from last year and the year before, is playing a little bit better. Yeah. And he's very good and just got better and better. Sargon, Sargon has a Snooker shoot background. straight. Yep. Snooker background. Great guy. I nicknamed him the the vampire the, uh, the vampire today. <laughs> he's, he's the vampire. Why is he the vampire? What's he sucking? Uh, you know, it's not that he's sucking. <laughs> is he's just very intimidating uh, and only comes out at night. <laughs> Jason Williams, uh, I don't know what his nickname, I think they call him Combination Jason. Combination Jason, he used to do a lot of nine ball combos. Yes. Now he runs out. And uh, I was saying earlier, hello to his whole family, uh, his dad, George, his uh, brother, Marshall Williams, and Jared, I believe, is his younger brother. They're all good pool players, and they're always rooting them on. And I don't know Sargon's family. And friends, I know they just had a baby. Yes. So congratulations to Sargon and his wife. And I want to say hello to everybody on his side of the family. Now we got the pleasantries all out of the way. We can talk about pool. So who do you like in this match? I think prohibitively, JW would be probably be the favorite. Mm -hmm. But you never know. I you know, never know. You know, a race to six. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to come down to the wire. Should be close. It should be a good game. This looks like a pretty open table. Yes. And folks, tomorrow we have the one pocket. Ooh. Uh -oh. Oof, oof. Uh -oh. That doesn't uh -oh. look uh -oh. good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. yeah. So Jason uh, got ball in hand. That's something that he loves. He's going to eat these up. Six balls, ball in hand, everything's open, no problems. I imagine uh, he's probably a favorite to run this out. Yeah, he's a favorite to run these. It's a little bit odd shape, uh, yeah. but it looks like it might be running into the six. Yeah, you know when you bump balls, they don't always come out exactly what you think, and yeah. then all of a sudden you're in trouble. Let's see what he does. The eight ball's down here, too. I don't like this angle. Can he squeak by? Let's see. I think he's going to hit the six. Like yeah. And he's oh, sort of okay. Still a tough shot. See, this is a real tough shot for an amateur, but for a good player like Jason, it's not that difficult. Nice shot. That shot, I call that, when I shoot that, the machine gun shot. I foul like four times when I shoot that ball. It's <laughs> <coughs> going top, two rails, up and down again. Yes, sir. Possibly three. Tap. Yep. Oh, I, uh, thought it, I thought he put a little inside English, but he didn't. He's fine. Yeah. And, and this is a good shot because the cue ball is going to come back behind the nine and, you know, 
If he misses the eight, which he won't, um, he, he could get safe. Good shot. Big game. And <clears throat> where is the scoreboard here? It's gone. I don't see the scoreboard. It's, it's in there somewhere. It's in that app. Yeah, but where? <clears throat> I was thinking the same I thing. That Try here. Sorry, I, got my I was thinking the same thing, man. I look like uh, Nope. Try clicking around in one of these. It's one of those. Where is the score? <clears throat> there we there go. There we go. Nope. Let's see here. And their names no, are that's known. that's not it. That's not okay. Patience, folks out there. We need patience. I don't see it. I clicked on all the buttons here. Do you know how to do the score? It says score right here. Do you know how to do the score? I don't see the score over here. This is score down here, but oh, here's another score. But that's not it. This is player one and two. This is something see, else. See, the names are already up. No, their names are already there. That, that, that one's not it. That's not coming up. It's the wrong layer. <clears throat> All right, we'll we'll ask. Uh, yeah. We'll ask Daniel when he gets here. Let's see, is this scroll up or down? Ay, ay, ay. Pretty sure it's one of these two. The put the layers. Oh, I don't see it. Well, I'm gonna focus on the match. Yeah. <clears throat> so we know Jason's up one zero. Alright, imagine he's going to draw it back below the 8-ball. Nope, he's going above the 8-ball. Roll it in, ooh. This is a... Uh, that was a rattle rattle. This might look easy. This is not easy by any uh, means, yeah. <laughs> this is not the easiest. It all looks easy when you're not shooting. He's going to... What's he going to do here? Is he going to follow it up? For the six in the side, or follow it up for six in the corner down here, I think bottom he's, right. He's gonna draw back just a little bit. Wow, jacking up, huh? Yeah, it's a tough shot, but he shoots so straight. Takes his time. Yeah, he does. Oof, that was a tough shot, jacked up. Sure was. And he's left Sargon open. Let's see if Sargon can capitalize on this. <coughs> he, needs, he needs to capitalize on this. It's a little easier because he has angle. He'll shoot this and he'll come down and play position in the side pocket. So you played in this tournament today? I did. How'd you do? Uh, one and out. One and out. Who did, well, two and or one won the first match, lost the second match. Who uh, who knocked you out? Uh, some guy from Sacramento. I forgot his name. He there, played decent. There's a lot of good players from Sacramento. Yeah. I want to say hello to all the players in Sacramento. Hey Daniel, how do we do the scoring? It's in the wrong layer. J Dub one. Yeah, J Dub one. There we go. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Daniel is taking a break. He's been in and out of the booth all day, and he's worn out. So it's it's really uh, nice that you came in the booth and helped him out. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's a kind of a tough shot. Here. Sargon left himself tough. Sure did, huh? I mean, how are you gonna play this divot? I uh, probably just follow it up. Nine ball's not a hard shot from even at uh you know Long where distance. where the head string is. So yeah, just. There's no reason to do anything much other than just uh, follow it in. What's he? Yeah. I think he's going to do what you just said. come off the rail. <coughs> yep. Yeah, he's just That's it. 
That's not a difficult shot at all. You give himself a nice angle. So this is looking like a one-to-one -one match here. Just got to make it. See, they're not using the beads above the table. There we go. One one. There we go. <clears throat> Am I, is this the the finals? This is the finals. This, this is, is it. The finals. This is the last match. So I believe first place gets like seven hundred dollars. Uh, uh, let me go check the board real quick. Yeah. Okay, checking the board. First place will be seven hundred dollars, and second place will be four hundred dollars. That's a nice little payday. That's a uh, that's a big uh, difference. So this match means a lot. It does. It's a three hundred dollar difference. I mean, it only costs twenty five dollars to play. <laughs> so I mean, it's a lot. You're a lot basi of players. basically just paying for your table time and a free shot to try to win some money. Yeah. Which uh, you know, I got lucky. I got my money back, and I think that's a big win for me. In California billiards put in what three hundred dollars? I believe right? they put five hundred in for for nine ball. For you know what was advertised, five hundred yeah. for the nine ball That's and fantastic. two thousand for the one pocket tomorrow. Right. Which uh, is two day tournament starts at eleven o'clock tomorrow morning. So folks, come on down and watch some one pocket. You can participate in one pocket if they still have some openings. You can give uh, California billiards a call and see if they have any openings. I believe it's eighty dollars to get in. And if, even if you're not playing, just head down to Watson One Pocket. There's sure. going to be a lot of good matches. There'll be a, a little action players. match afterwards. Yeah. You know, people get knocked out and they want to match up. All right, open table. He made, looks like, the two ball. Mm -hmm. And he's got a shot on the one ball. Let's see if he can capitalize on here. I do believe he can squeeze by that uh, five ball. Should be totally clear. So he's playing position on a three. That's probably a little stop shot. Nice shot. Yeah, it's a very nice angle. Get back to the four. I don't know about you, Divic, but these tables, they, they got new felt. It seemed like you didn't have to hit the ball very hard to get position. You know, the, these uh, diamond tables, uh, I started out practicing on them and then played my first match on them, mm -hmm. and uh, they seemed slick. And then I went to go play on the the gold crown over there in the back, my second match, and I could not control my cue ball. That thing was uh, flying all over the place, really? even compared to these diamonds. But yeah, these <coughs> I love playing on New Felt. New Felt is so fun. Yes. This is a little bit of a, a tester here. If he's going to cut it in, I imagine he's going to go up and down, probably two rails. He's been cutting the ball extremely well. Uh, this will test your nerves here. You know, final match, one to one. I mean, you're going to have to bear down and shoot this really well. Nice shot. You know, he hit yeah. the rail. He there hit the rail on the way in, but he hit it so softly it didn't. It didn't matter. What do we do with the six ball? Six ball's going to be tough. Yes. You know, and I'm commentating with Daniel, and I see a layout like this. I always say play position for a safety on, on the, the six ball. Don't try to run out. Just play position for a safe. I, I, I think he's going to draw it back and try and go underneath, possibly. That can get you in trouble. Nope. Nope. Looks like he might be doing what... He, or he could play a carom on the uh, six to the nine and play safe. I'm not sure if that's makeable. I think the six is too far down, but I could be wrong. Uh, he, 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 I mean, he could play a two-way shot. He could play a bank on the six and the nine. He could play a safety on the six and the nine. Just the nine, just the safe. I mean, he's got a lot of options. What is he doing? The way he lined up on that he told me that he, he looks like he wants to play safe on the six. Yeah. And, you know, that's probably why he's still in this uh, tournament. He's shooting well, and he's making good decisions. Good decisions, yeah. That's important. Which uh, I did not. <laughs> that's why we're in the booth, right? That's correct. <clears throat> this 
like he's following it up. He's going to leave the cue ball on the rail down here or behind the nine somehow. Oh, he, oh, went, he tried he to for, go for he it. Went for it. Interesting. It's and a, you know, he's left a jacked up shot, possibly for. Kind of shot that the way I shoot it. He kind of jabbed at it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I noticed that. He didn't uh, <coughs> slow down his backswing. Yeah. Uh, feeling a little bit of the pressure. No, Jason's not jacked up behind on feet on the eight. Jason looks really relaxed. I mean, he's used to coming in here and. He's got a lollipop in his mouth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably just to relax him. Um, Jason feels comfortable when he plays here. At oh Billiards. my goodness! Oh my goodness! First, right when I say that, he misses. <laughs> it, it never fails. Murphy's law, right? Never fails. All right, what do you do here? You, you got to cut this the, ball in. The cut us. He's gonna cut this in. He'll put a little inside English, I believe. I think he, he'll put a little inside English on this and make the ball. I think you need inside English. I think you can just go straight up and down. Well, but that cut is extremely difficult. Yeah, but uh, Sargon is a, a vampire. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> Razor blade. He's not a normal person. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it looks like he's going for a cut. I think that's the right shot. Nice shot. Look at that. Beautiful Back shot. and forth. I and mean, that speed, that's so difficult to uh, pocket yeah, and control. No doubt. And, and, and the reason why he's in the finals is because he's been hitting shots like that. Yeah. <coughs> and I imagine there should be a routine out at this point. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to play it shape in the corner for the eight ball up and back again. He's like, you know, I got the speed down going up and back. Why not Might do as it well. again, right? <laughs> And it just shot it. I know what to do. This looks like a one railer off the rail and should be straight in on the nine. They just don't draw back on the side. No, I think it's too far. But yeah. And he's, he's a smart player. He would not make that mistake unless he miscued. Good shot. Nice out. Nice out. So, folks, Fargo. once again, we are at uh, Fremont California Billiards off of Stevenson, right off the freeway there. Uh, we're going to have one pocket on Saturday and Sunday, all day playing pool. Some great one pocket players come down, have some breakfast, and uh, or, you know, sign up and play. Uh, I think there's some uh, advertising on POV Pool on YouTube. Uh, I know it starts at 11 o'clock tomorrow, and it's $80 to get in. I believe there's some entries still open. If you want to play, give them a call. And, uh, you know, come over and have some fun. You playing tomorrow? No, I won't no? be here this weekend. Oh, okay. I'm going to struggle. Yeah, you're <laughs> going to play? There, throwing my jabs. <laughs> nice. Yeah, take your shot. I have See no... what happens. <laughs> I like to try, you know. I mean, Of course. I'm a family man and a working man, but I, I like to play as much as I can. Okay, he's got a shot Locked on the one ball. ball. Is there anybody you want to say hello to while you're on the stream? Just, uh, thanks Mom for everybody Dad? for watching, and uh, no, I don't think my parents are watching this. They're not watching? <laughs> <laughs> thanks well, for everybody for watching, uh, toughing it out. Uh, I imagine some of the people here, or most of the people here, I imagine are probably West Coast. East Coast, it's pretty late, so... Shout out to all the West Coast pool players. I think last year, didn't you win this last year or took second or something like that? Uh, I think I got like second place a couple of years ago. Yeah, I think yeah. you beat me and I took third. I was so yeah. happy and then you took second. <laughs> hey, you know, third is a good for me. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with anything that makes money back. But it's always fun uh, just coming out and playing some pool. You know, I've been I've been working on this thing where nice I'm, shot. Yes, it was. And I'm just trying to get better. I'm not not focused on winning and losing. Like like yeah. just get better. And I think if I uh, wish I would have done that when I was younger, because I was so focused on winning, and it, it kind of you know slows your your learning process down a little bit. You right. Know? You have to stay relaxed and just enjoy the game and. If somebody beats you, maybe they'll even give you a tidbit if you're a good guy, you know. And 
Um, I, I got a little tidbit from uh, Sargon today that uh, I'm not allowed to share, but you know that's that's what you do. You know, shake the guy's hand and say good game. There you go. So that was a good shot. Well, Perfect you got your position. money back on some wisdom. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it was a great day. Looks like this might be a break and run. I saw a lot of good players in here. There were there were a lot of good players, you know? and it's a uh, it's a shame that it, this is a single elimination? single elimination. Chris Robinson got out what first round? Yeah, he wow. did. It's Holy a player I, I don't I don't even know who that that gentleman is. I never heard of that person. A lot of players I don't I don't know who they are, and they're good players. So what do you think out there in chat land? Do you think? Uh, <laughs> You think Daniel should play one pocket tomorrow? Let me know what you guys think in the stream. I'm trying to encourage him to play because he played last week. I think it was the last week <coughs> or the week before. Played really good. Took third in the tournament. Okay, this is a tough shot, huh? Yeah, I imagine he's probably going to go one, two, three rails and then come back out. You, you like shooting this with inside English, I assume. A little bit of follow. more A uh, tad bit of inside, but yeah. Just going up and down and... I think that's the natural angle. All right. Let's take steady nerves. Oh, he hit that he just went straight. Outside? Okay. I mean, it's still got shot. the good result. <laughs> Someone said, uh, Daniel should play. <laughs> They're encouraging. They're encouraging. We want Daniel. We want Daniel. We got people from Cincinnati. Wow, Alaska, fantastic. Alaska is what two hours behind California? I'm not even sure. Alaska is pretty big. <laughs> it probably has two time zones of its own. <laughs> there might still be daylight over there. Who knows? <laughs> Cincinnati is Ohio, so yeah, they're they're also two hours ahead. Uh -oh. They're pretty late. Oh no, Sargon. Oh no. That's gonna hurt. That's yeah. gonna leave a mark. That's gonna bite, yeah. That's gonna. <laughs> no, we gotta say that when Jason misses <laughs> the, the vampire. That's gonna leave a bite mark. <laughs> Jason has been just like beating champions these last couple of years. Oh, Jason plays fantastic. He's a he's, uh, giant killer. His cue is so funny because when he hits the ball, it makes this click sound. It sounds like he's miscuing all the time. Yeah, I think that's just his trademark at this point. It's been doing it for, what, 10, 15 years. So he's about to make the nine. This will put us 2-2, uh, two -two, I believe. All right, tie ball game. 2-2. Two -two. Well, breaking. Divich, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, someone called and it looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Yeah. I could be wrong, but it's looking that way. And uh, that's good for everybody else watching here. Now, it's stressful for the players, but we all get to enjoy more pool. Exactly. Um, <coughs> I don't know if you know all the one pocket players that are playing tomorrow, all the heavyweights. I don't. I, I, I imagine most of these players here. And then probably some more. I was going to ask you who you thought was the favorite for tomorrow, but that might not be a fair question for you. Yeah, I have no clue. <coughs> I know Bryce is always in the mix somewhere in there. Yeah, Bryce is a, um, is a, good, a good call. Chris Robinson is probably a good yes. call in that. Yes. That's going to be harder to take him down than it was in nine ball. Yes, I believe um, so. Jason... Doesn't play much one pocket, but if he's playing one pocket in the tournament, like he's always a threat to do some damage. He can be in the top four, yeah, top eight. I, I don't doubt it. Um, who else? I mean, you got baby Huey. Fran I heard Francis has been playing really good one pocket up in Sacramento. He's a strong player. He, I, you know, so I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up in the top four. I expected Amar to be here today. Uh, Shout out to Amar and Tony Chohan. Um, you know, no Amar. I expected him to be here today. I haven't seen him in uh, quite a while. Last I heard, he hasn't been playing pool. And, uh, you know, Oscar and uh, his dad. 
right. Ernesto, I expected him to be there. But anyways, back to the match. Whoa. Wow. Hello. Nice shot. Hello, Pocket. Does he bank this? He does. He's feeling loose. He's feeling good. He's like, come on, man. I can't be stopped. That doesn't... Yeah? That's, that, you know, that's his body language that's telling me. Ooh. Of course, now the table just spit back in his face. That's <laughs> <You know? laughs> just pull, cool, right? You get going, you feel good, and you feel like you know, you're unstoppable, and then it humbles you. This is a tough, tough shot if he decides to go for it. Let's see. Uh, Looks like he might be playing safe behind the seven. I like safety here. Oh, the other way. Okay. That, that's that a works safer too. way. That's a safer way. Yeah. The other way he could have scratched. <clears throat> I feel like I play a, a higher caliber game when I'm commentating. <laughs> you know, I miss everything when I'm shooting. We make everything when we're behind the screen, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, this this game is just so deceiving. Demanding. You know? Demanding. Like, like you're, you're watching on TV and, and on YouTube, and you're like, well, he's out, it's easy. And then you go to play, it's just so much more difficult than it looks on TV. Well, some of these players also make it look very easy. Yeah. Oh, and like Sargon like gets rewarded. Angelo is just on fire. I mean, he's already out of the tournament, but he caught a gear there for a while. He's just like, bing, 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 yeah. bing, and it's not that easy. No. But, but for him, it is. With hours and hours and hours of practice and talent, you know. Talent, dedication, practice, yeah, all of the above. And, and, and you play a good game. You play a strong game. I try. Yeah, I think you're a working man, but you play really well for someone that, you know, is not fully dedicated to pool. That's a good shot. Let's see. And you know what? I, I played the kid, uh, Nathan Nunes. Yeah. His game has really improved. I mean. Uh, yeah, in the last year, he's improved goodness. a lot. I, I expect big things from him in the next few years. I'm telling you what, you do not have to feel comfortable when you're playing him. He's, he's beat, he beat me here one one time in the tournament, and he just ran over me. I just couldn't do nothing. Yeah. Plus, you know, I mean, there's a couple rolls here and there, but there always is in every match. Yeah. But I, I take uh, those come and go. I give him a lot of credit, man. His scheme is just getting better and better. He's absorbing things. He's coming here, practicing, and he's he's only 14 years old. Wow. Only 14. He's a freshman in high school. I'm so thankful uh, he's on my pool team. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in second because of him. <laughs> okay. So he's got a side pocket shot here. I think I like that better to get position on the eight. Side pocket's a little tricky, no? I, don't I think uh, it feels like it goes straight towards the bottom of the eight ball and comes up. No, I think he's. he's I think he's going to shoot it in the side. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't like to straight in in the corner. I would shoot it in the side. But I'm in the booth. I'm in the booth. <laughs> I think the tangent line is if you shoot it in the side pocket, it goes underneath the eight ball, and you're likely to uh, get the so. eight from the underneath. So you're he's, right. So he's going straight. That's why. See, I, this shot is not my favorite shot because you want to go under uh, below the side pocket. And yep. then if you don't, if you feel the pressure, oh, and, you, and, you, and you just choke up a little bit under pressure, you're yeah. going gonna to scratch. It's not a real easy shot for an amateur player. I think he's going to try and uh, hold it on the other side of the side pocket, because you don't want to come too deep. What happens is if you do a little bit more, you'll, you'll come too far. So he's probably going to stay on top. Yeah. And uh, that's a much safer shot. Yeah. So I don't think he'll be there. You go. See, that's a good shot. So he, you know, there's no got, side pocket that comes into play there if you just stay right. on the other side. And I like how he hit it a little harder too, so it kind of got level with the sides. Yeah. <clears throat> now he shot a shot like this earlier, and after he made it, the the cue ball landed on the end rail against the rail, like like kind of like a one pocket leave. Mm. Even though you know he's shooting the last ball, he's still thinking safe. Let's see if he does that again. Do you think he's going to do that? 
I think he's just going to try and make it. And at the speed that this ball goes, I imagine it's going to go down there to the first diamond. But And he's going to play with this with speed. He's not going to play this slow. Watch the cue ball. Yeah. So and it's going towards that one diamond. He's, he's trying to play it back there. So Sargon's got three. Jason Williams got two. And we're, what, halfway done with this match. I want to thank all the chatters for participating. And uh, thank all the people that came in today that attended uh, our event. I want to thank all the people that have donated to POV Pool today and in the past. Thank you for future donations. Um, I want to thank all the commentators that came in the booth and helped out Daniel, my buddy. Uh, thank you very much, Divich. Yes, of course. I enjoy this. Yeah, I know. It's kind of like a treat, huh? You get to sit here and watch these guys play and uh, get front row seats. And I want to thank all the participants that came in and played. Uh, we had a full field. I believe it was 64 players. Thank you to all the players. There we go. He pocketed a ball, and uh, looks like he has a straight-in shot on the one ball. Yes, he does. The 2 3 4 seems a little tricky, but apart from that, I don't see any other uh, major issues. And even 2 3 4 seems uh, relatively routine. You know, let's see. I met a, a player one time from South America, and they play this game where there's balls on the rail. <laughs> it kind of looks like the, this run out. Yeah. Where you got to shoot one ball on the rail, go over to the other side, off the rail, off the rail, off the rail. <laughs> they purposely put all the balls on the rail. It looks kind of like that kind of a run. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, the 2 3 4 definitely is like that. I'm going to say position on the four balls. Toughest shot, I think. Because uh, he'll, he'll get shape on the three. But will he have the proper angle to get to the four? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, this seems pretty natural. This yes. seems like a stun shot. This nine but ball is not really in the way, but it's like an optical illusion. Just there to distract you. This whole thing seems like a drill. This is a tough drill. Oh, look at that cue ball. A little much. A little much. I don't know if it's raining outside, because I know the tables play sticky when, uh, when it's raining, but I'm not sure if it's raining outside. See, now this six ball can come into play here. Could make a... I imagine he goes uh, above the six ball here. So hopefully it doesn't towards come into play. Towards the four ball or away from the, away from the six? Uh, between the six and the side pocket. Okay, in between. Coming yeah. towards us. All right. Let's see. Let's see what he does. I like that. I, I like putting the cue ball behind the six, so that way if somehow you, you miss the three, you, you, you might get a safe. That's kind of a tall order, actually. Yeah, he plays Ooh, safety. Safe. I did not expect that. He's good. I think he got it. Oh, you know what? I'm, I think I'm Jason might be able to nick it, but I don't think he can see it to make it. Yeah, I believe you're right. I believe you're right. And so I think the cue ball is going to land behind the eight ball. It's going to be my guess. This is an interesting one. Let's see what Jason does. Maybe he hops it a little bit? Because it's a, it's just a sliver. He, he can mess it. Uh, I, I, I really think I would play a safety here. But I I'm trying to say it real softly so he doesn't get a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one. What would you do, Divich? I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know right now. What would you do? In well, this? if if I know I can hit this, the three ball, yeah, and, and and not hit the nine, I hit it real thin, and I'm then behind the eight. But you know, Jason has he's a lot better angle than us. I think he's jumping it, Might jumping the seven just a sliver. Might even hit the nine here. Wow! wow. And Chewy. holy cow! And he gets nice shaped. Shot. Oh my goodness! What that a shot. that was a heck of a shot. Woo. I called that a chewy shot. Don't try that at home, folks. I didn't know what to call that. <laughs> Just like it was like an impulse. What a shot. That was the shot of the tournament, I think. 
He's such a clutch player. Yep. And, and that was without a, a jump stick. Yeah, no jump sticks allowed in this tournament. Which I like. Not me. <laughs> Not that I jump great, but it's always uh, good to be able to use different tools for different things. If you have a break queue and a playing queue, why not have a jump queue? Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's a discussion for another day. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Jason capitalizes on this. Six to the seven is not easy. Oh my goodness, no, wow. Mm. Wow. Did not expect that. Uh, Jason's bumbling a little bit. Okay. And. You got it. You got it, Isaac. Or Sargon. He's, I think he has an extension. He has a, a, a snooker bridge that he'll pull out. <coughs> I mean, this 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 four ball is a little bit off the rail. He's okay for a four to the six, but the six to the seven seems uh, awfully tricky. Sure, he's with the bridge. Oh, he hit it nicely. That's a great angle right there. Yeah, that is such a good angle. These uh, snooker players that they're so used to using a bridge yeah, a lot more than the pool players, so they're yeah. comfortable with it. So. It looks like he's going to get on the top side of the seven ball. Sometimes when What's you the top side? The away from us. Away from us? No, I think he's going to come back. Because um, trying to come here, I think this, the side pocket corner gets in the way. But let's well, see. Well, I, I think he has to hit the ball harder to bring it back. And I don't but think I think it's more natural. See? Yeah. See, he's hitting low. He's going to come back. Okay, that, that, that is a safer way. Yeah, uh, that's a better way. Because I was going to say, if he gets on the top side, yeah. that, that, that point in the side pocket sometimes exactly. comes into play. Yes, yes, and that's what he think he's trying to avoid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is still a tough shot right here. Yeah, this, this, is, this is no this easy cake here. He, uh, because he's got to come back and uh, he let's see. He can't really bank it. It would be nice if he could bank it because he could... Straight on the eight, but I don't think he can. He's gonna cut it, and he's gonna. That's a tough cue ball control. Yeah, it is. It's a t it's a tough tough shot. This is not easy. I mean, I, it's hard to even see a safety on this shot. I mean, th there is a sh there is a safe, you know, a one a one rail bank. Yeah. You know, to the center diamond away from us, away from the camera, but. That's not easy. I think you just go for this, and if you, even if you don't draw it, even if you stay in that one, the center di uh, pocket to the one diamond range, I think the eight ball is still very makeable. So even if you don't draw this back, like even if you stay in that little strip right. between side pocket and the very first diamond after the side pocket, you're, you're fine. You're not that far away, and your cue ball is not going too much further up table. If you just follow it, or if you just hit the ball, uh, cue ball on top. This is a tough spot. Let me tell you, there's a lot of tension in the air <laughs> with this shot. Let me tell you. I, li I like the safety of this shot, but man, this, this is a tough He's playing tough. it with a little bit of draw. It's a lot. That is such a tough shot, I'm telling you. Just I like that he's taking his time. I like he's thinking it through. And he's made his decision. Let's do this. Is he playing safe? Because he's got outside English. And I think he's going to... If he, he's going to make this with outside English? I think just draw. And I think uh, if he hit, he's going to hit it firm. And he's going to come back behind the 8 ball. Where, where, behind the 8 and the 9. For the 8 and the side, possibly. Because he's, he's aiming quite low. If you hit this too thin with draw, you can be in that side pocket. I would recommend that shot. Let's see what he does. I, I like the safety. Just roll up and, and put it on the end rail. And you know you got a three to two lead. I, I like I, see, I like playing more safeties when I'm ahead. And when I'm behind, yeah. I just take more chances. 
That's just the way I do it. But then again, I'm in the booth again. <laughs> Maybe I should be doing it the opposite way. There he goes. Now he's following it. Just let it. Nice and easy. I like this shot better. I like this shot so much better. You, what, well, with inside English, I'm okay with that shot. But draw or, or outside? Uh-uh. Yeah. It's too tough. And, and, and when you're cutting this ball, he's going to be cutting it to the right side. If he misses that, unless he gets behind the nine shoots in the same pocket. Um, I, know, I know he's going to go around two rails, but uh, he's, he's exposed if he hangs it. Right. Tough shot, another tough shot. It's been a tough out. Yeah, everybody's uh, giving these players a lot of respect. Keeping it quiet. Sargon is very good at these shots. Uh, I hate to even say that because when I say someone's really good at a shot, that's when they miss. Shouldn't even say that. I, I don't know about you, Divic, but I'm a little nervous for him. I'm feeling some pressure. <laughs> I like this shot, personally. <laughs> And he hit it nice smooth, shot. And beautiful. beautiful. What a shot. Perfect speed. You know, that that was a shot from a player that was totally relaxed. And, and a little tidbit for amateur players, when you shoot this ball, just put the cue ball right up on the rail. And if you miss it, it might come up a little and you're safe. Yeah. Nice. All right. Sargon is up four to two. That's a good lead for uh, a race of six. He could have been up five to one if he hadn't missed that. What was it? The seven ball or the eight ball? Mm -hmm. Earlier in the, I think it was the second or or what is it? Fourth game? Third game or fourth game? <laughs> yeah, but I when mean, it went two two. He's you know these players are a little bit tired too. No, oh, I mean this is draining. This is just mentally draining <laughs> at this point. I told Sargon, I mean, we went to the hill with each other, and I was like, God, I'm glad you won, because I'm already <laughs> beat up, tired. I don't think I've been able to play another match. It's 2 in the morning. It's 2.12 in the morning, so these gentlemen are tired. You know? I didn't realize it was that late. Mama's going to lock the door on me. I can't get in. <laughs> I have to sleep outside in the patio. Nice. So someone on the stream is calling uh, um, Sargon. They're calling him Robin Hood. Uh, I don't know. I like the, the vampire. Made two balls, and he's got a shot on the two ball, and uh, sure he can roll up for shape on the three. So this is looking uh, like his rock to uh, win it. You know, this would, I mean, this is a, a prestigious tournament to win because there was a lot of high power players in here. There were, I would imagine there's probably like at least seven or eight, 700 plus, Fargo rated 700 plus. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Sarkar, I will say he's on the borderline of semi pro and pro level. Yeah. Uh, I would say Jason's a little further up the line, but also kind of close to Sargon. Yep. But, you know, race is six. Anybody can win. Anybody can win that. It's Anybody not a long race. But, you know, Sar like I said, Sargon's getting better and better. And players don't stay the same all the time. Yep. There's a power shift sometimes. Yeah. Like, uh, he's really taking his time. Rolling it up. His his speed has been really good today. His uh, cue ball speed? Yes. Is. I like the speed of, of the table. Okay, I think he came up a little short, so he might have to go around the table here and I, I, for the five. I will say that I think he, this is like possibly his third match on this table. Yeah where you know Jason's been floating around other tables. Right. That could there have a little a little you know a little bit of an advantage for Sargon. Let's roll it forward. Yeah. Looking like he's out. 
Right. Looks like it. Still got to make the balls. Daniel I don't says, see any trouble. <laughs> Daniel always says you're not out till you're out. Nice. Oh, Ooh. wiped his feet on the way in. <laughs> uh, excuse me. The tournament on Saturday and Sunday this weekend starts at 11 o'clock, folks. I think he's asking for about a different tournament. Oh. Greater Entertainment San Mateo, Sunday. Well, this is the place to be tomorrow. Forget about everybody else. Anybody in uh, Northern California is definitely a place to be here in Fremont at California Billiards. Mm -hmm. This house is going to be packed. I mean, it was it was bumping in here earlier. There's yep. a lot of people in here. I mean, when I say bumping, I mean, you couldn't walk without bumping into somebody. <laughs> All right, one rail back, nine in the opposite corner down here, bottom left. Oi, not strong enough. And, and so, of course, I was complimenting him on his speed earlier. <laughs> you know what happens when I say something. But uh, so nice. I, I did say earlier that, you know, the reason why he's still playing in this tournament is because he makes shots like this. Yes. He takes his time. Slows down, doesn't rush things. I'm happy for him because he's really been working hard on his game. Yeah. And uh, I'm very happy for him. And, and you know, Jason's been there. And we're we're all trying to catch Jason. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we all have our own uh, speeds and goals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Taking a long time to shoot this. Big nice ball. shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's good. I think it's slowing down. Nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. Beautiful shot. Is that 5 2? Is he on the hill? Yes, yes. sir. So Argon's on the hill first. So I need Jason to make a little comeback here. We got Carol walking behind me. How you doing, Carol? And for all you folks that uh, wanted to come down and didn't make it, I uh, hope to see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining our stream. We really appreciate that. This tournament started out kind of fast and it kind of slowed down. You notice that? It just kind of slowed down. 64 players. We started at 7 p.m. and we're going to finish at about 2.30. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot of Five players. Five and a half hours. It's pretty good. <laughs> Come on, sorry. AZ Snooker Academy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm reading some of the uh, comments. I, I, I also do appreciate Daniel and all the work that he does. I mean, it's just he promotes the game of pool. I love the game that we all love. Oh, no. You know, we, we have to tip our hat to Daniel and Geraldine. Daniel does great work. And Geraldine. he's friendly and he's a good guy. Yeah, and he's a good player. So Sargon broke and he scratched. And it was a foul. Uh, see, that's what, exactly what Jason needs to get his rhythm going. I think Jason uh, went to the restroom. Okay, taking a, a break, break. five-minute break. So, folks, now's the time to um, Catch hit your, the restroom. Um, get go, some shut eye. Go wash your hands. They're all sweaty because <laughs> you're sweating this match with us. <laughs> And uh, they'll be back in a little bit. Um, this is not uncommon for Jason. When he's in a tough match, he'll take a timeout. I have noticed that he will take an at the timeout and regroup. He's in a pee. Oh, you know what? I don't need a smoke. I need a fork. 
You know, sometimes I wish we had a microphone on the pole players to hear their comments. <laughs> All right. So Jason's uh, back, ready to play, but uh, Sargon is still in the restroom. Anybody you want to say hi to, Jason? Uh, <laughs> oh, your brothers, your dad. Huh? I'm not really sure who's watching. You're not sure who's watching. Everybody's watching when you're well, playing. So, somebody will eventually watch. Thank you very much, Antonio Hernandez, uh, with a donation of $9.99. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That's uh, what we need to keep this rolling. Like, uh, Jason's taking a little bit of a break. Sargon's in the restroom. Be about five minutes. We, uh, you know, as commentators, we come into the booth. We do not do this for money. We do this for the love of the game and try to enhance the matches for you guys. This is an extreme amount of work. I've uh, I've ha actually helped Daniel a couple times unload all the, the stuff from his car. I mean, it's it's a, it's a lot, lot of stuff. stuff. It's <laughs> you don't really realize it until you do it, and he does it all the time. And then he's got to set it all up and this and that and test it. I mean, it's a lot of work. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Daniel does a lot for the uh, the game of pool and, and Geraldine. Uh, we're all very lucky to have them give us these streams. Okay, players are back. Here we go. So, hopefully this match will be over soon so we can come back and Sorry, get one pocket. <laughs> get a little sleep for one pocket. Let's see, what's he doing? He's going to try and break up the 8-2? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't look like great shape. Got a funny angle. Okay. I like to spin that on the top side of the two and try to get between the three ball and the eight ball and try to hit the six and play safety Rooney is what I'm looking to do. Let's see what Jason does. Uh, he wanted to same idea but uh, he went he extended the angle out a little bit and it, it gave him a shot. I like I like going between the uh, the three and the eight because you have a chance to hit the six ball and stop. Trying to get to the six ball would have been tough from behind the three. I think the angle was a little funny. But yeah, this uh, left him a big gaping hole right here. I wonder if the nine is in the way from him. Should it pass the nine? And he wants to play safe. Play it safe. Just keeping it in the gap. Hmm. This, this right here is not an easy safe. A lot no. of open holes. A double kiss can can, can uh, really hurt you. And, and if you hit it too thin, it can drift. Right. And then you don't even hit the ball. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. I think you gotta aim for like a quarter ball, like that, and just accept the double kiss and bump it out a little bit. Sargon can see it, but not to make it, and he's on the rail back there. So maybe you can play it with some uh, left English, outside English over there, and bring it back mm -hmm. to where he is. See, to me, when when I'm watching a nine ball game like this, it. it really reminds me of one pocket how important it is to, to learn to play one pocket yeah because it can help you in your nine there ball game goes. and oh my goodness look at this beautiful yep and no jump sticks you gotta beautiful. use your break stick or shooting cue so I think he's gonna try to jump it over the six and the three which is two half balls hit the rail and kick the two ball up the day ball and I'm not positive, but I think that's what he's going to try to do. I think he's going to go two rails behind the three. You know, I'm looking over the uh, over the monitors. Yeah. And that shot I just called out doesn't seem possible. 
I mean, these monitors really trick you. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to go two rails behind the three. Yeah. Let's see. I believe you're right. Even that, that one is tough. It's not tr trivial by any means. This will be a great hit if he can hit this ball. That will be a fantastic shot. Oh, and nice he hit it. Hit. Nice hit. Look at the cue ball. Oh, my goodness. That's a good leave. That's a great shot. That's a bet. Nice kick. A little, little clap for that one. That was a good shot. Even Jason nodded his head. I like that. <laughs> I mean, you could kick this in off the seven, but you really gotta play safe. This is not that easy to play safe on. Yeah, I'm not even sure what to do at this point. You <sighs> thin off the two, and then what? I mean, Where do you go? You'd you have to a little draw outside, or else you might scratch. So put, two put rails a little, put a little back and it's a good shot. I mean, wow. Up against the rail. Yeah, I mean that. It's a good shot. That's the best he could hope for. It's a very good shot. And and and, and this shot, if I'm not mistaken, he's gonna spin it around the nine and get back behind the four. Um, Is he trying to make it? I think he's. I think you try and make it, right? I think you're trying to make it, but but you get safe if you miss. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just going inside English. Still think he's gonna get safe if he misses. Yep. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. I didn't see that coming off the board. And he got a jelly roll. Lucky Rudy. Got a little jelly roll. Why not? Take it. Take it and run with it. <sighs> You know, I played a gentleman in my first match, and unfortunately, everything went my way. And he just kept saying, that's part of the game. You know, I'd get lucky. That's part of the game. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's right. You know, sometimes you get a lucky roll. It's part of the game. You get a bad roll. Part of the game. Part of the game. Yeah. Can't help it. He doesn't want to shoot the combo, the... Four, uh, yeah. Six. He's, he's I trying. think the thing is, like, if he tries to come back for uh, the four ball in the opposite corner pocket, then he's going to have to go up and down for a shape on the six. Let's see what he does. Try to baby it. He wants to shoot oh, the side. Oh, wow. I thought about that, but I wasn't sure he could hit it that soft. I didn't think he could hold that. Yeah, that's, what I was, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Somebody said his lollipop is gone. <laughs> now he's shooting better. He's more serious now. Oh, he shoots in the side pocket with a lot of accuracy. Those are not easy shots. No, no, they're not. This is really uh, nice. Very this nice. This is uh, feeling like uh, he's getting out from here. And uh, it's going to be 5 3 if he gets oh. out. Uh, I don't want to jinx him. Not too. I think he's okay. He's used to shooting these shots like this. Good, good shot. See, someone like myself, I'd be a little worried about that shot, but he's just like, yeah, I've shot this a million times. Good shot. Nice on the nine. Perfect on the nine. Right where you want it. Folks, Jason's not letting go yet. He's got three. 
three to Jason Williams, five to Sargon. Going to race to six. This is the finals of the POV pool number eight, nine ball event. We're in Fremont, California, California Billiards, the year 2019. This is a year, uh, yearly event. We will have the one pocket tomorrow starting at 11 o'clock. Two day tournament, $80 entry fee. If you still want to get in, call and see if they have openings or just come down and watch. Here we go. It's been a good match. It's been fun. You know, I mean, I know it's late, but I mean, how do you stop watching this? Wacko. One, two. Oh, yeah. Two balls made and no open pocket. Mm. But I see an easy safe. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that's what Jason's going to go for here. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and continue on from there. That six balls are a little tricky, huh? So you got to go, go for the. Six eight combo possibly. Yeah, the eight ball's kind of close to the hole. It's, it looks like it's relatively close to the center, so it's not so bad. Right. I mean, you have to hit that combo and hit it thin, and that's when it's a little tougher, I believe. Plus, you can play uh, position on the six ball. You know, I like those soft little delicate shots. I've learned to appreciate them, especially playing one pocket. Those soft little delicate shots are very important to hit well. Okay, Divich, you're kicking this. Are you trying to hit the top side to try to get behind the six? Are you just hitting it in the middle? Or, I mean, what's your strategy? I'm just trying to hit it. <laughs> if, if but if I had to choose, I would try and choose uh, on on the opposite side of the two ball over there, so the right. cue ball goes behind the six and eight. Right. I, I always like if I think it's a real easy hit, then I'll try to hit it and play safe. Right. If it's a real difficult hit, I'm just trying to hit it. Yeah. That's the most important part. You got to make contact first. Mm -hmm. There you go, just like that. that was a good you want to be. Uh, it looks uh, like he sold yeah. out. And this might be another game for Jason. The side pocket. But you notice the 6 8 now just became more difficult. Mm -hmm. That's what I was not, talking about the combo. Yeah. I but mean, when you make that combo, did, it's hard to get position on the 6. Did that open up the pocket for the 6? I can't tell. I, I can't tell either. I but don't think regardless so. of the. It would still be a very small pocket, even mm -hmm. if it did. Right. Drive safe. Perfect position. <coughs> the other thing you can do is uh, on the fly ball, you get a shape with a lot of angle, and then uh, you go underneath the six and on the other side. Yeah. I think that's what he's thinking about right now. Yeah, you know, the player that is a, that's at the table, they really can see the angles much better than we can. So we're, we're guessing, does that six pass or not? I, You know, what I tend to do is, like, try to read their body language when they're aiming the ball or whatever. Get a little clue, because I can't tell from here. I know it's close. It's either a half a pocket or don't go. But it's it's not, really close. It's not clear, according to his body language. Doing. Let's see, we'll know as soon as we get a setup on this ball. Mm -hmm. On the five ball. Sometimes when I'm playing a weaker player, I'll pretend like the shot's much more difficult than it is, and then make it just to <laughs> play with you know play with their confidence a little bit. <laughs> there kinda, it is. It's kinda fun to do that to people sometimes. I think he's going around. I think he's gonna follow this up. Well, he 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 could do what you said, like back it up, and yeah. try to get behind the six. I I kind of like that idea. 
I mean, uh... But you can't go that much. I think you have to put a little bit of stroke and... Oh man, he keeps looking at that combo. Back. Yeah, gotta really go keeps back. For that combo. I, I like crossing over like you said. You know? Yeah, I like that shot. I don't, don't want to shoot a combo. But his nickname is Jason. Combination Jason. So he's doing what you said, I think. He yeah, was, just from the top side. So yeah, he wants to, he wants to stand the bottom of the six and shoot it in the same pocket. He's playing one pocket right now with the six and the five. Got there, perfect. See, that's that's perfect. a one pocket shot. I mean, you play a little one pocket. You know, when you're you're in that situation in your nine ball game, you get out. So roll this forward a little bit. Creates an angle. Nice. Nine ball sitting by the. It seems like the nine is there on every game, <laughs> right there towards that corner pocket. And uh, this is going to put Jason at four if he wins this game. He's slowly, methodically coming back. Good for him. Oh, oh. Ooh. That Ooh. Cuttable, but Ooh. that's an extreme cut. This is the kind of shot that I asked myself, did they brush the table earlier today <laughs> or not? <laughs> no, honestly, David, sometimes what I'll do is I'll walk over by the nine and I'll just rub my hand on the felt and just feel for any chalk, just kind of wipe the table with my hand. Yeah. And sometimes if it grabs a piece of chalk or something, it slides and it doesn't cut. Yep. So I just kind of wipe, wipe the cloth real quick with my hand. I don't know if that's legal, but I do that. <laughs> You're allowed to clean or pick up the table. I mean, pick up stuff off the table. Let's see. Let's see what he's doing. He's cutting, it seems like. You gotta put well, just a tad bit of outside English on this to miss the side pocket. Mm -hmm. Big shot. Yeah. This is a, a three hundred dollar shot. And he, he missed. missed it. No, he oh, made it. He made it. I thought he missed it. Yeah, it seemed like it didn't. It, it, he did not. I, did, I didn't think he made it. He wasn't first. very confident when he shot that ball. He was like, ah. nice, nice shot. Nice shot. Settle down, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you got any more gloves? <laughs> <laughs> what a good shot. That that was drama right there. <laughs> wow. Hey, oh, keep it down man. over there, Melvin. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin's like, 20 feet away, and I can hear him like he's next to me. <laughs> can you hear me now? How you doing, B? How you doing, B, man? You got Roddy uh, with the middle finger. How you doing? <laughs> you got Jay. Chris Swartz and you got Geraldine. She's like, oh, whatever. Leave me alone. How you doing, Geraldine? <laughs> She's sleepy. Okay, here we go. Here's a break. Jason with another break. Smash. One. How do you... Hit the ball that hard and not like fly off the table 20 feet. I don't get it. All right, we got one ball down, shape on the one. Table looks open. Does that make any sense? They hit the ball that hard with that kind of control? I don't know. It's beyond me. I don't know. So this... I was having a lot of trouble today with my brakes. Could not pocket balls on the brakes. Well, you know what? Jason has a golden opportunity to uh, get on the uh, hill there. Hill, hill. Yeah, hill, hill. I mean, of course, it's the one ball, but you hit it nice. You know, when I watch great players play, it seems like they only shoot maybe two shots every rack that are difficult, and the rest are in line. Yeah. And they're staying so in line. They're staying. They're not like me, like shooting every other shot, jacked up over a ball, and kicking it. You know. So you know. That, they, that's they can, why we're here. They can run racks, you know, because like I said, they only got to shoot 
maybe one or two tough shots a rack. Ooh, you made this tricky. Get that little long. Let's see. Cuts this in and goes on the other side of the four ball. Or four ball in the same pocket as the three. Feels to me like the air is a little cooler in here than it was earlier, and I always say that the People table speed up. Up. the tables the table speed speeds up a little bit when it's cooler. So you know, I always try to pay attention to that while I'm playing in a match. You know how cold it is in the, in the room. This is a tough shot. Nice shot. Look at this. Position. Very nice. I mean, both of them got the up and back down pat on their speed. That was a tough shot. This one's a little tricky, too. The six is in the way. And uh, so, do you come underneath the six or you go one rail and buy the seven over there? One rail between the nine and the, and the six. And towards the seven over there? Yes, sir. Let's see. Look at that. Almost, almost Perfect. too much spin. Almost. Perfect. <laughs> but it missed the six. And that six balls right over the hole. Should be a break and run. So uh, just pay attention to the angle to get to the seven. That's a good angle. That'll get him a nice angle to go towards the nine. Off the seven. And that will make it a hill hit. And yeah, who, who, who said that this might go hill hill? <laughs> Good who's, call. Who's that genius? Perfect position to get to the nine. I uh, wish you would hit that a little softer. What's up, Melvin? We're gonna have to uh, possibly get the rail down here and come back up. See how he likes to shoot this. He hasn't been missing nothing in the side. This pockets. one's a little awkward. Just the way it's going. Did he shoot the nine in the same side pocket? Jeez, uh, I don't think so. I think he's gonna hit this, spin around, and hit the corner on the left, bottom left. On the nine ball. Yeah, same pocket. There you go. Oh, I don't like shooting it like that, but but he hit it well. Yeah, I think it was a natural angle. You know, I just I, I wouldn't have shot it that way, but I like I like the outcome. Nice. Five to five. five. Woo! Here we go. All right, it's a tie. <laughs> we'll end it as a tie. Are we uh, doubling up and starting over? Now, the question is, are we playing it for all of it? <laughs> Let's play for all. One game. <laughs> Sargon's uh, taking a bathroom break real quick. They both uh, are like, let's take a break. Okay. Wow. It's going to go down to the wire. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Man, it's almost Join 3 in the morning. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the one pocket. Yes, sir. I've been announcing that a few times. Uh, one pocket. 11 o'clock tomorrow. 
We are going to have a two-day tournament. It's eighty dollars to get in. If uh, there's still openings, give them a call. See, there's nine openings still. Nine spots only left. Um, how many is a full field? Forty-eight. Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Wow. They're going to be some of the best one-pocket players in the Bay Area here. Some from South. Some from Sacramento. I mean, it's it's going to be a fun event. You'll have POV Pool will be here also. Uh, they got raffle tickets here. They got prizes. Uh, we got great food. Lots of tables. There'll be some action matches. All right, we got t-shirts. We, go. we got pool cues for sale. Raffles. We got beer. I mean, what else do you guys want? Got a full kitchen. Full we got, bar. We got everything. <laughs> we got a couple wise guys. <laughs> We got a little bit of everything. Sometimes we even have dogs in here, <laughs> little puppies. <laughs> I've seen that too. Okay, let's see. Jason, Jason has been, you know, I should say Sargon was on the hill for a long time. He was the favorite to win, but now Jason's breaking, and it's five to five. So... I would imagine uh, you know? Jason's a prohibitive favorite again, still, only because he's made this comeback. He's in stroke. He has they shake hands and they're ready to go. Here we go. A round of applause for uh, our two players. What I don't want to see here is nine ball on the break. I do want to see a run out. Break and run is fine. Yeah, that, <laughs> that would be brutal. I, I want to <laughs> see a, a long drawn out game. <laughs> Safety battle. Ah. That would be your game tomorrow, not today. <laughs> I, love, I love safety battles. So I'm not good at them, but I like them. Black. And, I mean, he's made a ball on the break almost every time. I don't think he can see I it. I believe he can. Yeah. I believe he can. And you got a better angle than I do. Oh, I'm just <laughs> looking at the monitor. If you stand. <laughs> I'll try and see what the viewers are seeing that way. Be yeah. sure to commentate. He, he can make this shot. I mean, can you hit it straight and hold the cue ball for the five ball? I mean, the two ball. Lindsay, yes, this is it. This is the last game. Whoever wins this, wins it. Yes, everybody gets to go to bed pretty soon. Position on the four. What do you do here? I like to follow because even if I hit the seven ball, it just helps me get position on the four ball. So I like to go top inside. Looks like that's what he's doing. How about uh, top outside? You're gonna shoot longer four ball. So I like to go top inside. Oh, true. It was more straight than I thought he yeah, was. Yeah, I didn't think, I didn't see that angle. I thought he'd be a little further back by the first diamond if he. Yeah, to do I thought that. he had much more angle than that. Uh, <clears throat> looks like he's played position in the side pocket here. But this, this is looking uh, pretty good for Jason. Yeah, let's test to lose. and will not rush this and take his time. Nice shot. Hit that perfect. You know, as a player, this is such a good feeling when you, you know, you're, you're on the hill and, and you, you know, you think you're out. I mean, it's a great feeling. But you, you have to remain focused. Where's he going with this? I'm, I'm surprised right he's getting up on this shot because it's straight in. Yeah, I think his uh, fear is he doesn't want to overrun it because if he overruns it, then the shape becomes much harder. I think he wants to stay on this. Oh, he had an angle. 
we had an angle oh, that we didn't see. Oh my goodness. You know, from where we were standing, it, it Yo, looked I like... I did not see that angle. I thought I it was straight either. in. I, th I thought it was no problem at all. Uh, Alright, well, here's drama. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, I, I like to cut this and get behind the knife. Mm. I like that shot. I think what he's going to try and do is go for a one rail bank and, and try and play it a little short. So if he misses, he stays on the short rail, and uh, if he makes it, he has shape on the seven. You could be right. I think that's what he's gonna try and do. I, I just, I just think the shot that I suggested for you. Mm -hmm. If you hit it real thin, it's hard not to get the, the same. Yeah, I think he's looking at the one rail bank. I had a situation like this with Sargon earlier where I could make it or play safe. And looking back at it, I wish I would have played safe. <laughs> so let's see what Jason does. Hindsight is always 20 20. Right, and Jason's a lot better shot maker than me, but let's see what he does. And he made it. Nailed it. Wow. Oh, that was a good shot because, I mean, he hit it with some speed to where if he missed, it, it could have came back out safe. Yep. That's, that's that was the a, right shot. That was a good shot. He just slides this over. Oh, yeah. I think we're all done here. Yeah, he should be pretty straight on the eight ball. Uh, diamond table. Sometimes when you draw, they rattle in the hole. They don't stop. I think. I think uh, the odds are in Jason's favor oh, here. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Oh, for sure. But there is a one point zero zero one percent chance. What a comeback by Jason. He was down five. It was 2-2, two -two, then Sargon went up 5-2 to two up on the hill. Wow. And Jason pretty much kept control of the whole match since then. That's I don't think I've seen Sargon at the table very much other than kicking at a ball or two. I think you're right. Oh, that was an amazing match. Uh, that should get a lot of views. Jason! Sure. Beautiful match. What a comeback. That was a great, what a comeback. great shot. Thanks, everyone. Okay, Thanks for tuning folks. in. Thanks for staying wow. tuned. Thank you for uh, helping out yeah. in the booth, sir. Thanks, Nelson. And Have goodbye a great evening, to everybody. Everyone. Good night. Get some rest. Uh, Sargon, congratulations, second place. Congratulations, Jason, for first place. Wow. All right, guys. Signing off. Good for you, brother. Good match. Go ahead. Come on. Sorry, guys. Good work. Good play for you. You didn't get him too, you know? No. Yeah, I, didn't, I had my chance earlier. Jason, uh, sorry, guys. Can I get the two guys together? Please tell me. It is tough, man. Yeah, it's tough. The vampire doesn't like the daylight outside. Sorry, guys. The two of you guys. Great to be on the picture with somebody. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll we'll see you tomorrow, man. Yeah. Okay, you know what's thing about this? Like, I'm going to miss one shot. Hey, all right. Hey, look. I had my chance to eight when the left walked past me. The scratch. The scratch. Stand right over here, guys. On yes. the side. And when the left walked well, past me. As well. On the side of Chris. Oh, the left one? Right here by the table. Carol! Yeah. All right, Greg. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Jason, I thought I was toasted. No, it's not. No, no. Where it came from, but I'm glad he showed up.
Balls on the break, always helps. It does, it does. Head out of my ass help too. <laughs> Took me a minute though. Now you got a parlay of shit for the month. Yeah, I do. I'll tell you, and the bank 